Okay, once you've accessed the vein, uh, leave the tourniquet on, attach your um, male end of your cuvette tubing to the butterfly, female end of the butterfly. Uh, if you can, uh, every once in a while, uh, rotate your cuvette and tip it uh, with the distal end up so that the air and any large particles that might be in the cuvette actually flow out of it and through the tubing. Uh, you'll want to squeeze something to help the blood pump out and uh, you'll want to unroll your clamp, you'll want to unclamp your uh, hemostats. You want to mix this um, every couple minutes, give it a good stir. Um, to make sure that the saline and the heparin are all mixing in with the blood coming in um, to keep it from clotting. Um, you're, there's uh, numbers on the bottles, at least there should be. You'll want to go up to, if you can get 200 cc's, um, if the patient is uh, heavier than 200 pounds, you can go to 250 cc's. Um, Go ahead and get somewhere between 200 and 250 cc's of blood and then uh, we will uh, we'll move on to the next step uh, once you've obtained the, the proper amount of blood. You're on. Okay. Once you've obtained 200 cc's or 250 cc's, the desired amount of blood you want to take out, you're going to take your 25 cc's of saline, you're going to roll the roller clamp closed and clamp with your hemostats, and you're going to back flush the uh, tubing back to the patient. And make sure there's no pain or tenderness at the site. You want to irrigate the tubing to ensure its patency. You're going to take your hemostats and move them beneath the port. You're going to move them from above the port to below the port. And you're going to open your roller clamp. And your saline should be drawn up by the vacuum in the bottle going to remove your needle, cap it, then you're going to release the vent, the vacuum, on the vented bottle and squeeze the drip chamber until it returns to its normal shape. You're then going to invert the bottle. You're going to squeeze it to get some blood into the drip chamber. Can you see me all right, Tom? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're going to hang your bottle up on a pole or a hook, whatever you have uh, there available. You're going to place the cuvette into the machine at this point. The two white uh, clips are going to clip right into the sides. I'll get a close up once your hands are out of the way. Okay. Also, the lights go off when you lift the lid up, and when you put it back down, you can see around the unit that the lights are back on. But it's an automatic safety, so there's not UVC light uh, that you're staring at, which can have some damage to the eyes. Okay. So you place the cuvette in the holder, you close the lid, the lights are back on. You can unclamp your tubing and you may need to take your syringe, make sure that make sure that your tubing is all straight, that there are no kinks. Can you give me the whole time? No, I got it. I just wanted to take that. You had a kink in there. Okay, your blood should be dripping about a drop a second. 
and it should flow freely through the line. I'll capture the air that's in the line once it gets to the port. Go ahead and let it drip, uh, free drip back into the patient. And go ahead and capture the air when it gets to the port. And if it's not dripping, uh, one drip a second, you can raise up the pole to give it a little more gravity. And so it drips a little bit faster. That's about proper rate right there. You may want to check your cuvette intermittently uh, to see if there's any air in it. If there is air trapped in the cuvette, you want to take the cuvette out, tip it upright so that it's uh, so that the upper portion is closest to the patient. Uh, tap it a few times so the air comes out, and then again you can capture the air at the uh, access port with your needle and syringe. So right now you have saline going into the patient, correct? Uh, right now, yeah, this, this distal end of the tubing is just with, uh, has the saline that I flushed mm -hmm. with uh, initially. Go ahead and turn it off. Some other difficulties you might experience uh, during the treatment. Um, uh, we had a couple uh, hang-ups. Um, IV site may go bad. Uh, patients had chemo uh, in the past. Um, veins can be uh, friable or delicate. Um, you have to watch this site at the insertion of the needle to make sure that it's not uh, any hematoma. Um, and uh, you also need to make sure there's no clots in the bottle or in the drip chamber. If there are, you need to invert the bottle, squeeze the drip chamber, um, and flush the uh, clots out of the uh, spike um, of the uh, drip chamber or the vented tubing. Um, and you, know, you may uh, wind up with a kink or a crimp in the tubing. You need to just uh, keep an eye on the tubing and make sure that it's uh, patent and that it's flowing well. Um, uh, there's just some troubleshooting that needs to be done. Um, we will leave a way uh, for you to contact us if you need to. Um, so you can call if need be and uh, we'll uh, give you a hand and help you figure out uh, how to successfully complete a treatment. Uh, it's really not that difficult once you get the hang of it. Uh, that's all.